Hello everyone. So now we have reached the last part of electrophilic aromatic substitution. Here we will discuss some problems or you can say some examples regarding electrophilic aromatic substitution. The first problem is explain the observation for sulfonation of naphthal. So this is a starting material. Now you are doing sulfonation reaction using H2SO4 but there are two different conditions. One condition is 80 degree, temper degree centigrade temperature, another one is higher temperature than that. So when you are using higher temperature, we are getting beta acid and when you are using low temperature, we are getting alpha acid because this position we call it alpha, this is beta. You can also call it uh, two position and this is one position. So why we are seeing this type of difference that we have to explain here. So at high temperature, the reaction is reversible and at low temperature, the reaction is irreversible. Now, at high temperature, actually you are providing more energy. Now, more energy means the energy hill, remember, that is the energy hill of activation energy. If there is enough uh, energy, then the once the molecule is formed, that is the product is formed, it can again be converted to the uh, naphthalene, that is the starting material, because it can easily cross the energy hill as we have provided enough temperature, high temperature. So high energy is there already present in the reaction medium. But if it is at low temperature, low energy is given. So the product, that is the sulfonation product, once it is formed, it will not be possible for the product to come back again, crossing the energy hill. So that is why it is irreversible. Now the reversible condition, the product we call it TCP product, and at low temperature, the product we call as uh, KCP product. Now, why the low temperature product is KCP product? Because rapid attack at one position, that is alpha position, the arrhenium complex that you get, that has more stabilization. Remember, in part 2 of electrophilic substitution reaction, we have seen that naphthalene, there are two positions possible for electrophilic attack one is one another one is two so when it is one position the arrhenium complex that you are getting there is higher number of intermediate carbocation where benzene ring is intact compared to the intermediate carbocation that you are getting from two position so because of that there is rapid attack at one position and this product is formed at a faster rate that is the alpha product the alpha acid product that is formed at faster rate that is why it is kinetically controlled product. Okay. Now, uh, it is thermodynamically less stable than the product which is formed at high temperature. That is the beta acid product. Now, why it is so? If you look at this uh, box on the right hand side, you can see alpha position, beta position. This is 8 position hydrogen. It, this position is also known as peri position. So this hydrogen is known as peri hydrogen. So there is steric repulsion with this X group. You can, this may be any group. It is true for any uh, group. But here our X is SO3H. So there will be steric repulsion between hydrogen and SO3H. And that type of steric repulsion is not present in case of the beta acid. So that is why this is thermodynamically more, sta more stable compared to the uh, alpha acid this is alpha acid product this this is beta acid product okay so that is the reason why it is tcp product thermodynamically controlled product and another reason is that at high temperature as it is reversible and we are getting beta acid but suppose some amount of alpha acid is also formed but as we know that desulfonation is also possible because of the reversible nature so if even if some amount of alpha acid is formed it can again uh, be converted to the starting material naphthalene and there can be a new attack at C2 or beta position to yield finally the beta acid. So this is an explanation why we are getting uh, at 165 degree centigrade we are getting the beta product which is our TCP product and at low temperature we are getting KCP product and remember at high temperature it is reversible, low temperature it is irreversible. Let's go to the next problem. When benzene is treated with CD3CHOH Me in presence of BF3, a racemic substituted benzene is obtained. That is, we are getting a racemic mixture of product. If you look at this molecule with which we are 
treating benzene there is a chiral center right with this carbon there is a cd3 group one hydrogen one oh one methyl so four different groups are attached so this carbon is chiral carbon now in presence of bf3 what will happen the lone pair over the nitrogen as we know bf3 it is lewis acid electron deficient so this lone pair over, over oxygen it will attack this bf3 now oxygen is positively charged this bond will be broken and you will get a carbocation and this is a side product so this is our carbocation next we will treat benzene with this carbocation now as it is sp2 carbon that is i'm talking about this carbon so it is planar so as it is planar there is a chance that that from both side the pi electron cloud of benzene ring it can attack this carbon from both side so when both side it is attacking now the transition uh, state or, sorry the intermediate that you are seeing here both now have some mirror image nature and finally the product that you are getting that is also uh, mirror image to each other so this is racemic mixture okay racemic mixture so this is our intermediate finally there is aromaticity regeneration okay so basically here as our starting uh, that is the molecule with which we are treating benzene the electrophile that is generated there is already some uh, chirality issue okay the fine that is a species already have some chirality center but and this carbocation is planar so both side attack there is equal chance so final product will be a decimic mixture okay a third problem pivaloyl chloride that is me3ccocl it gives normal acylation product when you are using anisole that is methoxy substituted benzene but when you are treating pivaloyl chloride with me3 sorry with benzene then your product is me3cph so the problem is with me3ccocl it is common when this reaction partner is used with anisole you are getting acylation product that is with anisole cocme3 will be attached that is the acyl group here but when you are treating pivaloyl chloride with benzene you are not getting acylated product you are getting alkylated product that is the difference so why it is so now look at the pivaloyl chloride here tertiary group is present with the co group so in presence of lewis acid first there will be formation of acylium ion that we have seen in case of friedel craft acylation fine but there is a chance that this co bond will be cleaved cc bond will be cleaved and carbon monoxide will be removed as a neutral molecule and there is a 3 degree carbocation which is very stable now i am not saying that acylium ion is not stable obviously acylium ion is also stable and especially this resonance structure is stable because that octet is complete but still suppose if there is enough time then there is a possibility of removal of carbon monoxide gas and the generation of 3 degree carbocation so this is only possible only when the carbocation is very stable here it is 3 degree very stable so that is a driving force of the removal of carbon monoxide molecule so if r is tertiary in acylium ion it may lose a co2 give r plus okay so in that case you can also get alkylated product from this now it is possible only when your another reaction partner is very unreactive because if it is unreactive or less reactive then only there is enough time suppose if you are when you are using any so obviously it is very good nucleophile compared to benzene ring because of the presence of ome group so it will not give this acylium ion to enough time for the removal of this co and generation of this 3d so that is the reason that when we are treating this acylium uh, pivaloyl chloride with anisole this is anisole we are getting acylated product this is acylation product but if your another reaction partner that is benzene which is compared to methoxy benzene less reactive less nucleophilic 
So now there is enough time. So CO removal is possible and carbocation is there and we are getting alkylated product. So this is ME3CPH. So this type of uh, observation it is common for unreactive substrate where the SLM ion has time to break down. So there should be enough time otherwise it will not be observed. Okay I hope it is clear. Next problem benzene diagonium chloride that is simple pH N2 plus Cl minus. It doesn't couple with any salt that is methoxy substituted benzene but if your diagonium salt is 2,4 dinitrobenzene diagonium chloride that is now in the benzene ring at 2 and 4 position with respect to the NH2 there is presence of NO2 group. Now it can couple with any sol. Now it is very simple because the benzene diagonium cation, cation is very weak electrophile. Now when there are presence of two NO2 groups at 2 and 4 position then it is electron withdrawing group. So obviously the electrophilic character of this diagonium cation it will increase because of presence of these two NO2 group. So it can easily react with methoxy benzene or any sol. And this uh, mechanism it is as usual. So first there is loss of aromaticity and finally there is removal of proton and aromaticity is regained and we are getting our diagocoupling product. Okay. So this is very simple problem compared to the other problems. Here we have three uh, reactions with uh, reaction conditions. We have to predict the product. The first one you can see 2 NH2 group at ortho position. And what is the condition? The condition is the same. That is the condition of diagonium cation formation. So what you can expect that there, there will be 2 N2 plus Cl minus formation, right? But what is happening actually here? The first NH2 that will be converted in presence of nitrous acid to this moiety. Now remember in the last video that is the diagonium coupling video we have seen the generation of this type of species. The next step is protonation of this OH to OH2 and it will be very good living group and finally this NO bond will be broken and there will be a positive charge generation. That is normally we have seen. But here already there is another NH2 group present at ortho position which is very close to this uh, moiety. So what will happen? This lone pair it will attack at this nitrogen and OH will be removed and you can see minus H2. So as if one of the hydrogen from here it will uh, Actually, see, it, it is not like that. I am just saying for balancing purpose. Uh, reaction medium is positive. So, this OH will be protonated first. It will be very converted to a good, good living group. The lone pair of a nitrogen, it will attack this nitrogen and OH2 will be removed. Okay. So, finally, what we are getting? Benzotriazone. This is triazone. This is benzene. Together, the name is benzotriazone. Fine. Next problem is... Uh, here also we have another diagonium cation but the corresponding uh, negative part that is BF4 minus fluoroborate anion and another, uh, another reaction partner is NO2 benzene. See normally with diagonium cation what we use? Normally we use phenolic OH or uh, aromatic tertiary amine right but here it is something unusual and another thing is that this type of reaction, coupling reaction, normally done at very low temperature, 0 to 5 degrees centigrade. But here, we are providing heat. So, something else will happen. The diagonium cation, it is not stable at high temperature. So, there must be something else. So, what's that? In pre When you are heating this substrate, actually, this diagonium cation, it will no more be uh, stable. So, this bond will be broken. And there will be pH plus cation. Nitrogen is remo removed as neutral molecule. BF4 minus ion is there. So now normally there is pH N2 plus. But as we are providing temperature here, it, nitrogen will be removed. And we are getting pH plus cation. And as this is a very good electrophile compared to uh, pH N2, it is very unstable. Positive charge over 
sp2 carbon so it will be very unstable so that is the reason that uh, as compared to ph n2 plus now ph plus it is more it is very good electrophile because it is so unstable so that is why if the another reaction partner even if it is not so good nucleophile because of the presence of this electron withdrawing group then also there is no such problem the reaction will still occur and with respect to NO2 meta position it is meta directing so the attack will take place at meta position only and finally we are getting 3 nitro by phenyl so pH group is inserted at the meta position with respect to NO2 the last molecule here you can see we have two benzene ring in the first benzene ring we have methoxy group in the second benzene ring here also in the para position we can have methyl hydrogen or NO2 so any of this group if you compare with methoxy all are less deactivating so attack will obviously take place at this benzene ring not the second benzene ring now we are using bromine so you can consider this bromine as if one side is that is as induced dipole so one side is partially positive another side is partially negative so if we look at the mechanism this is a positively charged side negatively charged side the electron a lone pair of electron over oxygen it is pushed towards the ring attack is taking place from para position because para position that is uh, that is the final product that you will get that is para, that will be para substituted so compared to ortho that is more stable so that is the attack is taking place at para position and finally now see aromaticity is lost in the first step in the second step there is br minus another part that is already present in the reaction medium so that will capture this hydrogen and there will be a formation of co double bond so finally this bond is broken this cbr bo cc bond is broken so that aromaticity is regained new double bond will be generated at this position and finally we are getting a formyl group attached to this position on the right hand side uh, benzene ring and br group attached at the para position with respect to MeO in the first benzene ring and HBr is our byproduct. Okay, so from a large molecule, basically uh, we are getting two uh, smaller molecules. Fine. So we have discussed total six to seven problems. So I hope uh, you have now some clarity regarding different types of problems under electrophilic aromatic substitution. I'll come to you in the next video with some new topic. I will find the playlist link of all the topics under each playlist you will find the different parts of under each topic fine so all the links will be given in the description box uh, until then goodbye and thank you for your time